Hey everybody, Victor Fernandez here with a quick video on how to correctly place your left hand on a violin or a viola if you're a beginning player. I have, as I have grown as a, as a teacher, I've moved away from physical tapes or stickers on, on the instrument whatsoever because I emphasize on developing the student's ear so that the ear can guide the hand and not the eye through the ear, not through the eye. However, for beginners, I do take, in the, their first couple of months of learning, tiny little pencil markings which just rub off over time because it's graphite and lead. It comes right off, but just as a, as a visual reference to get them started with placing the hand. So if you're one of my students, you certainly likely have one of these if you're a beginner. If you're not my student, um, you have tapes, then some teachers still utilize them. This is just my personal approach. So getting our hand in the area where first finger is going to land, these are the points that you need to check. Number one, the thumb should be slightly peaking above the fingerboard, right between the first and second tapes, approximately, approximately. Every hand is different, so some of the thumbs might be here, some thumbs here. The thumb is like a little gopher that's like peeking above the ground to make sure that he's safe. Number two, underneath, underneath my thumb, there will be a space that I affectionately like to refer to as the gopher cave. There's a little space down here. So we have a gopher's thumb and a little gopher's cave down here. This is good for young children, but it's it's quite adorable, even if you're a little bit older, I think it works as a good visual. Then, my wrist is straight. My wrist is straight. I do not want my wrist to be like this, collapsed, like carrying a tray of food. Wrist is straight, go for thumb, go for cave. And now my hand is in a good place to put my fingers down, to pluck when I am doing this, I'm going to take my thumb and place it on the underneath the fingerboard. So it kind of stays in place. And I'm going to pluck with my pointer finger over the fingerboard, not over where the bow goes. There is a long explanation, but in short, we don't want to put oils and dirt here on the avenue of the bow, if you will, on this area here. So let's pluck over the fingerboard. Now, when I place my first finger down, that shape is going to be a box, as you can see it. Everything remains in place, but that shape is a box. Wrist is still straight. There is a space underneath the gopher's thumb, right? The, the thumb, and it's a box. It is not a pyramid. If you find yourself looking like this, your hand is too high. You need to bring it down. If your first finger looks like this, where it's like a mound of dirt, your hand is too low. You need to bring it up. You want to get to this place where that attack and the finger attacks the string with the, excuse me, with the tip and it makes a box shape. This is, the, this is the right place to be. My elbow is in, not out. Bring the elbow in. Here's my space for my gopher cave. Here's my thumb. Here's my wrist, and here's my first finger making a box. Here's my thumb underneath the fingerboard, and I'm going to pluck A and B. A, and now put my finger down, B. I'm going to practice doing that a few times. A, A, B, B, A, A, B, B, and I'm going to just get comfortable doing that. That's that right there. This is the very, very start for getting our left hand in the right place. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought. And if you're out there in the world and this helps you, that is super awesome. Love to hear from you. And uh, happy playing.